On January 1st, 1943, folk singer Woody Guthrie wrote down a list of 33 New Year's rulings, or New Year's resolutions as we would call them. It's a beautiful list of wonderful little aphorisms and tiny little hand-drawn sketches next to the things that he had written. But my three favorite things that he wrote on that list were the last three. He wrote, love everybody, make up your mind, wake up and fight. I just love those concepts in general, but especially put together. It really speaks to the fact that our perceptions are our realities. It's, it's the thing that everyone has their own different perception. Everyone has their own way of viewing the world. That's why two people can be in the same situation and have two completely different experiences. Our perceptions are the product of our upbringing, our past experiences, our inherent biases, our own inherent personality. But they really make up our reality, the way that we view and experience the world. The good thing is, we get to make a lot of decisions about our perception of the world. Oftentimes, people act like we don't. Sometimes it's easier to pretend like we really don't have much control over how we view and experience the world, but we do. We get to decide how we want to take in the information around us, how we want to experience our world. That, to me, is on Woody Guthrie's list. That's make up your mind. We get to decide. We get to make up our minds about how we want to perceive the things happening around us. About how we view our place in the world. And I think one of the best things that we can do as human beings is to practice gratitude. This has been something that's been shown over and over again to be a positive practice for people. Is to really focus on and practice being grateful. To me, on Woody Guthrie's list, that's love everybody. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to love everyone in the world or love everyone that you meet, but I like the idea of that positive outlook. And I think one of the best things that we can do is focus on the things for which we are grateful. I know there's so many things that I have in my life that I'm grateful for that have helped me get through difficult times, that have helped me keep things in perspective when I get frustrated or I get down or things become challenging. I know in the most challenging moments of my life, when I was maybe in a difficult situation with some of the health issues that I've faced or any other challenges, I've tried to redirect my focus to the things for which I'm grateful. I know every time when I was going through a bunch of health things, I had to go in for a surgery or something like that. When I was laying on that operating table and I was about to go under, I tried to focus on the last thing I want to go through my head was my children. That's what I'm most grateful for. But even in times when I just didn't feel well, and I didn't feel like getting out of bed, I didn't feel like facing the day, I tried to remind myself of all the incredible things that I have in my life. Of my kids, of the job that I love, of the fact that I had a roof over my head, and food on the table, and all of those things. And that did so much, it's always done so much for me, to help realign my perspective, to get me focusing on the right things, and to help push away those negative things. I am a big fan of ancient Stoic philosophy. I'm a big fan of Zen philosophy. And I really take away from that the concept that nothing in the world is really good or bad. It's the 
It's the label that we put on it. It's how we associate it. Now, that's not to say that some things shouldn't be identified as negative things. There are definitely negative things in the world. But if we can sort of separate ourselves from our experiences a little bit, then we can decide how we're labeling those things or how we're identifying those things or how we're experiencing those things. And then something that maybe seem negative can be flipped to a positive thing. I try to do that in little ways all the time. I have a terrible sense of direction. I get turned around a lot if I'm driving somewhere. I really rely on the GPS on my phone. But sometimes if I still take a wrong turn or I get somewhere and it takes me a little longer, instead of getting frustrated, or maybe I just get caught in traffic or something like that, instead of getting frustrated, I try to remind myself, or I try to, I try to picture it as possibly a good thing. I try to tell myself that, well, hey, maybe by getting held up here for a few more minutes, I avoided being in a car accident down the road. Now, is that likely? Probably not. But it's a much nicer way to view the situation. Instead of being frustrated that I'm being put behind, I can relax and remind myself that I, I don't really know what was, you know what's happening down the road. I don't really know what might have happened if I made the stoplight or if I didn't get bunched up in traffic or if I didn't get turned around and I had to get off on the next exit on the interstate and come back again, whatever it might be. I try to do that in really little things during my day if I get frustrated about something. If I'm just, if I have a day where I'm not as upbeat as I normally am or I, or I don't feel like I'm maybe at my top level, I try to break it down to something really simple for which I'm grateful. Sometimes I'll focus on just how grateful I am to take each step. And that's a little mental thing that I do where if I can break it down to I'm grateful for being able to take this step then it really simplifies and washes away a lot of other things. And it allows me to sort of focus on being the eye in that storm, to, to be the calm with all the things going on around me, then I get to decide how I perceive them. I do the same thing when I'm teaching and coaching. There's definitely moments that I get frustrated. I'm not always totally calm and zen. I try to be. But I'm not always. And when I get in those frustrating moments, I try to remind myself of what a privilege it is to have the job that I have. To work with young people in a classroom, in athletics. To hopefully interact with and impact them in a positive way. And to build these relationships. To build relationships with students who I get to talk to as adults years down the road and see the wonderful things they're doing in their lives. So, I think that's a really important thing for everyone to do, is to focus on those grateful things in our lives, the things for which we're grateful. But that also doesn't mean being complacent. I think sometimes people misconstrue the concept of gratitude as being complacent. That if you're grateful for your lot in life, if you're grateful for all the things around you, that somehow that means we can't still strive for things or have goals or want more from our lives or from ourselves. That's not the case. To me, that's the last thing that Woody Guthrie wrote on his list of New Year's rulings was wake up and fight. Just because we're in a, an environment of, of being grateful, of being happy for what we have, of enjoying the things around us, that doesn't mean we still can't want more from ourselves in our lives. We can still get up and want to achieve things. 
To me, it's being happy, not being satisfied. It's being grateful, but not being complacent. So that's what I want my students focusing on this week. That's what we're going to talk about in our family time, is I want my students to identify three things for which you're grateful. Three things already in your life that bring you joy, bring you peace, that are good things in your life. But then I also want one thing that you want to fight for. One thing in your life, one a goal, one thing that you think is important that you want to keep striving for. And I think that's an important balance. To be grateful in our everyday lives. Those are the things that bring us mental peace and allow us to focus on the things that we do want to achieve. Because if we let everything weigh us down, if we let every obstacle, little challenge get in our way, we're never going to accomplish those things anyway. Being grateful is a way to put aside those things that aren't important, to focus on the things that are, and to achieve the things we want to achieve. Everybody have a great week. Have a grateful week. Much love.